long gun qualification license bill. Um, good, bad idea? Uh, it's a terrible idea. Uh, what they're what they're doing is proposing a bill. Uh, they have a solution that's looking for a problem. Uh, in, in Maryland last year, I think the FBI uh, statistics came out, and there were a total of uh, something like five people killed with a long gun. Um, and every day in Maryland, we have an opioid epidemic that kills an average of five people. So really, you know, the FBI defines a, a mass shooting as as five or more dead. So in, in effect, we're having a mass shooting every day with opioids. And these guys in here want to concentrate on registering uh, long guns and hunting rifles and shotguns. And it's just not going to do anything to solve the, any of the crime problems in Baltimore City. Right, right. And I know, for example, there's one reporter with the Capitol Gazette, as you probably know, they had that that whole terrible shooting last year. And their whole argument to it is like, if any regulation helps. This isn't necessarily isn't going to stop issues from happening across the board, but it's one thing that we can put on the table to try and do something about it. Any thoughts you'd like to say to them? Yeah, the guy who tragically murdered those people at the Capitol Gazette bought his shotgun legally. So what are they doing with this bill that's going to prevent future Capitol Gazette instances? Zero. Nothing. It's just not going to happen. And another thing, this has been going on since Monday. Sheriff Mike Lewis of my Comico County. Great guy. Love, yeah. love Sheriff Mike. And he has already said, along with the Somerset uh, County uh, Sheriff Ronnie Howard, they've both said that if this these bills go through, which there's a good chance they might, they plan not to comply. Any thoughts on that at all? Well, God bless them. It's, it's their constitutional right not to comply. I mean, they should not comp to comply. These are not um, arbitrary laws written somewhere. What they're doing is infringing on an inalienable constitutional right that didn't come from the Constitution, but was codified and enumerated by the Constitution. So he, he raised his right hand to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States, and I think that's what he, he and the other sheriffs are doing when they say, we will not comply. Do you have any thoughts to those people who say, well, for him to be an elective, elected leader, to not do his job representing us, essentially enforcing the law, he's acting unconstitutional, acting essentially above the law. Any thoughts to those people, what they have to say? Well, our founding fathers were some pretty smart guys, and one of them had a quote that says, when they pass unconstitutional laws, it's our duty not to obey them. So I think that Sheriff Mike and the, uh, the rest of the brave sheriffs are doing exactly what they should do, um, as set out by the Constitution. Just give me one more second. Really, my last question, talking about ghost guns. Um, looks like they're also trying to slap some regulations on to there as well. Any thoughts to that? Again, it's a solution looking for a problem. It's interesting. Baltimore Police Department posts up on its Facebook page all the guns that they've um, taken off thugs and criminals. And they've been doing this for years. And not one time has a ghost gun shown up on there. Not one time has a 3D printed gun shown up on there. It just doesn't happen. These guns are made by hobbyists, they're made by tinkerers, they're made by uh, machinists who are interested in the technology. And it's a whole lot cheaper uh, to go out and buy a gun from a gun store. And it's certainly cheaper to go out and steal one to use in crimes. So again, it's a solution looking for a problem. Okay, so I guess the idea is we're putting regulation on something that doesn't need regulation. Absolutely, absolutely. All, all they're doing is, is taking away a, a hobby, and interest of, of law abiding people. None of these bills that they're proposing, either in this building or the one across the street, is gonna do a thing to solve the 309 murders in Baltimore City last year. Zero, zip, it's just, it's just not gonna happen. What they're gonna do is they're gonna make criminals out of law abiding people. Paul, is there anything else you want to add? I forgot want to say, let people know. No, we're good. We're good, we're good. All right. yep, thank, thank you. you. I so appreciate it. All right, Kevin.